Yeah, hello everybody. Welcome back to um, a new lesson in HTML. So today we're gonna be learning how how to add links to our HTML or to the body of our page. So um, let's head up to our page to what we we're doing before. Right beneath your title page, you can just put um, this. You can put this link, this um, tag. So link. Then you put this attribute in it this attribute i'll tell you what it is now this element link element is residing in the head region of your what html and it's of course it should be beneath any link tag this is how the head, head region is structured the first thing you will have in the head region of course is what um, after having you know every head, 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 head element is uh, nested inside html of course html tag so inside the head element, we have the meta tag, which specifies the first meta tag we have is the one specifying the character set, which is set what, which is having the value of UTF H. I've told you that. Uh, then uh, of course the next one we'll be having is what meta uh, metadata, another metadata, which is the meta tag, uh, which specifies the auto, and of course uh, the content. And I remember I told you anything inside an element. All these things now that is inside an element is called what attribute is called what attribute so um the metadata is having what an attribute of name author uh, the attribute of name is having what a value of author and the content is having a value of what uh, my name so another one we have here is um, another meta tag which specifies uh, which is giving the attribute of name to uh, which stores a value of description describing a web page you know and of course the content of the content of the metadata is going to be what this website is blah blah blah, blah. so you describe it according to your own um give it the description you would like then of course we have a title you understand we have a title and after the title what you'll be having is a link tag the link tag what does the link tag do the link tag is like a tag that connects um a resources to your but to the body of your website it connect what a resources to the what body of your web web page the link tag could be in form of um the literary link tag we have two types of we are we have two ways or two methods of connecting resources to our what to our web page the first one of course is um this link element here this link element here and this link element is having the attribute of what relationship of what icon and what the href this href means hypertext referencing and what is it referencing of course it's referencing what um five.png you understand this is just the name and this is the word extension the png on what type of um uh, what type of what are what type of uh file are we linking and then it's an image file it's and what it's it and what an image file now let me um give a run through on how or what this is you understand first of all let me bring you down here we have favicon favicon this link i'm trying to link what favicon to it but i'm not going to do it now i'm going to be doing it in practical because after um this week by next week we should do our first project in html so i'm going to be using favicon and you will see it in practical so um, it will make a lot of sense uh, by the time we start using it so this link tag is linking any link tag anything you are linking within the head region and i told you link tag is found in the head region of um, your html you understand and it's of course beneath or below the title tag so any um, link tag you put here what you'll be referencing is what um, either uh, either a file that is residing or that is internal to your web page I will explain that to you. What I mean by internal to your web page is that a file that is inside a folder of of the uh, website you're working on. You understand? You look at this now. We're gonna be creating a five icon now. Favicon means. Let me show you what favicon is. Let me show you what favicon is. Um, look at. I'm sorry, Vimeo is not a sponsor of this video. It's just for. I'm just using the example for educational purpose. So look at this thing here. Look at this thing here. It's called what? This logo here is called Favicon. 
it is called favicon and by favicon we mean the meaning of favicon is what favorite icon favorite icon if you check um, the, the if you check um, the website of technocraft.space you will see uh, the favicon we use there you will see our favorite icon there too so what we are linking here is what favorite icon that's why the relationship is called what is is the the attribute relationship is what icon you understand and the what the href what are we referencing what are we referencing what you are referencing is what you are trying to link okay you're linking a page okay what are you referencing what um where is the um, location or what what is the location of the um resources you are linking which is the what referencing and we have what uh favorite um I mean fav.png. This fav you can name it anything. You can you can call it timson.png. You can call it io.png. You can call it anything.png. You can call it tosin.png. You can call it anything.png. You understand? Is this one is unique to you? And while this is what um, general to everybody because it's the what extension and it could be it might not be png in your own case it might be img. That is image file. This one is just PMG. It can be IMG. It can be SVG. Whatsoever um, file extension it it may be. So that is that. The another method of linking uh, the resource to uh, our web page or the, to the body of our website is through anchor tag. Anchor tag. I will show you us. I will, I'm going to show us how to use anchor tag. You understand? So um, linking is a very important. Uh, is a very powerful it's a very uh it's a very powerful uh, um, uh, thing on our web page you know in that you can even link resources outside of your web page you know and external resources you can link it to your website you can link you you, you can you can con you can Net, um, link your resource the, uh, an external resources to your web page you can as well what link uh, uh, an internal resources to your web page what is an external resources I'm going to show you uh, it means a resources outside of your what web page outside of your pro, uh, development outside of what you are of the website you are the the website you are creating I'm going to show that in an example let me say let's see um, let's say Okay, let me see what I'm going to do here. Mm, okay, let me say I'm trying to. Um, I'm creating a strong um, YouTube website. Okay, let me see YouTube website. YouTube web website. So let me say um, I want to create, I want to link. I told you we have two ways to link um, resources to our, our website. Is it that you, uh, you you use the link uh, link element, which is linking to the, which is going to link, in, which is going to be linking resources to your ed, uh, uh, ed region, and it's called, of course, it's it's linking something that that is residing within your what um, within the folder. Of your website within a folder inside your web page it's not something you cannot link external thing i have not seen a sensible person linking external thing to the head region of your website you know i told you if you can remember that um the head region is not something that you see except for favicon and tied to and of course we're gonna uh, if you want to link favicon it's something that should be local to your website something that is sitting that is residing inside your what um your html uh, page so let me say i want to um, link an external resources anchor tag let me say anchor tag sorry um, anchor tag anchor tag let me say i want to link an anchor tag and um href href was um, say 
let me get um, a YouTube. Or, excuse me, let me get. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let me from here link to our website. Okay, I'm creating a strong. I mean, sorry, I'm creating um, a technocraft website. Let me see, technocraft. Um, technocraft um, website. Let me say I'm creating a technocraft website. Let me say um, HTTPX uh, technocraft. Please, you understand? I'll put this. Now, notice that I didn't put www. Not because I am using, um, of course, you have been using HTTPS, blah, 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 blah. If you're trying to link using the anchor tag, you don't start um, the referencing using www. You start from um, from the root. We call this root of your root of your website. When you are starting with HTTPS, blah 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 blah. You're starting from the root of your website. You understand? So let me close the anchor tag. Uh, let me close the anchor tag. Sorry. So anchor tag is not what a self closing tag. It's not what a self closing tag. Meaning, um, meaning it does not. Um, it's 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 it must have it must have a beginning and what an ending tag. You know, I I, I remember I told you. Um, the first angular bracket, I mean the first um, <clears throat> less than sign, less le, le, less than sign, and the element or the tag name greater than sign is the open side, and of course uh, the one with four slash is the closing side. So anchor tag two is having that um, kind of parameter. So look at how I am referencing the uh, the the uh, external resources. To the HTML. So let me see. Um, let's see. Let's run our. Let's open our uh, Dev server and see how this is working in practical. Okay. So you will see that I'm creating a what a technocraft website. Notice that this thing is um, highlighted in blue. You will see that it's not writing HTTP blah 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 blah. It's just writing the text, but underlined. By underlining, it shows that. Uh, it is a link. You understand? If I over around it, it will point towards it. So by pointing towards it, you will see a tooltip uh, right here. The tooltip is showing right here, um, showing the um, href. That is where I'm referencing to or where the page will be linking to. Let's over on it again. Let's over on it again and see. You see a tooltip uh, be beneath here. Just look at where my mouse is hovering here. You see a tooltip there that is showing the website that the thing is linking to. You will see it there. So by pointing, by finger pointing, it shows that it's a link. It's a clickable, clickable link. So the moment I click this thing, notice that this thing is in blue. The moment I click it, if I should come back, it will it, the, the color will change from blue to purple, meaning it has been clicked before. Now it's, it's on it's having a blue color because it has not been clicked. So let's click it and let's see what it will give to us. Yes, this is a uh, uh, technocraft or space um, server. So um, we uh, are currently working on the web page based um, on this on the cloud. So that's why. So I shot every uh, we shot every request to our uh, website so that um, people will not uh, you know while working on it, we shouldn't be exposing the um, this thing to. Um, to the general public so that is that that's why you're having what nginx error let me let me use another resource location and so that we can have we can have let me use say let me use say uh youtube let me change it to youtube.com let me change it to youtube.com 
Let me say HTTP to youtube.com uh, I'm creating uh, I'm creating YouTube what I'm creating a YouTube website a YouTube uh, website I'm creating what a YouTube website so let's it save my I'm on auto save for your own case if you are not on auto save just um, press ctrl s on your keyboard and of course uh, let me let me put up the dev server and let me close this let me go live let me go live yes so i'm creating of course it's having the same thing because though i've clicked it before but because i have changed um, the content so it will show blue so by the time i click it it will route us what um youtube this is it this is what i'm trying to show you so it has routed us to what um, youtube and if i go back it will bring us to this. You will see that the stuff has changed. And look, notice the two tip. The, the two tip two has what changed. So you will see that the color has changed. Now there's one important thing I would want you to know. Now this uh, kind of referencing, we have two types of referencing. We have uh, let me let me show you. We have two types of referencing. Um, two types of referencing we have two type of referencing we have uh, let me see link referencing hypertext referencing let me let me use we have two types of what hypertext referencing we have uh, one we have the absolute referencing absolute referencing we have the absolute referencing and we have two we have the word relative uh, referencing we have the word relative referencing this is what it is this is what it is uh, let me go back to you yes this is what it is now look at here if you see this anchor tag here you will see that at the end of uh, at the end of the href, at the end of the href um, uh, value, I'm putting what? I'm putting a forward slash, which means absolute referencing. You understand? But if you take a look at the link page, um, it is what? I'm using, yeah, you will see that I'm using relative referencing. What that means is that if you're trying to access or link your resources outside your uh, outside your web page then you use what absolute referencing which is what four slash at the end of the uh, at the end of the value of the href but if what you are trying to um, link to your web page is within or is internal you understand by internal i mean is within a folder in your web page you use what relative referencing which is this you know and in, in, we don't have uh favicon that P, uh, fab png but of course i'm just using it as an example because even if i'm to link it i will have it what stored inside my inside the body of my what um web page so that is that inside the body of my what web page i told you i'm going to be using that uh in, in practical so um like I said, the link is so powerful to the point that um, linking li linking a website is so powerful to the point that it is possible to link external resources to your web page to access, access external resources, which I did uh, with YouTube from your web page. And of course, we are not going to link external resources um, using the link tag that I told you uh, in the ad region. We use only we are going to only use um, that if it, the only way we can use. Um, external linking is why by what using what an anchor tag an anchor tag with what a referencing as an attribute href as an attribute you understand so that is that that being said uh but to be able to link resources uh 
you can also i want you to, to understand that we can also link resources with anchor tag and the resources that i'm talking about is resources within our web page you can also link internal resources um using what anchor tag i'm going to demonstrate that too and you will see how to um, link internal um, resources using uh, h um, anchor tag sorry and of course href as the word attribute so um let me see what let me see how uh, let me see the quicker example i can use um let me say um, okay let me create um let me create uh, another file let me create another file let me create a new file and call it uh, about page about me about me dot what html let me put space let me see about me dot what um, html so about me dot html let me let me create sorry about me dot html and close this about me dot html let me call this uh about me mm, name description uh let me see About me, okay. Yeah, we have the title before the meta tag. We can copy that and uh, let me change that. Change the location. So, being, it being there doesn't mean that it can't be there. But I like to do my, I like to do it this way so as for me to have. We have it like this. Let me use a word wrap. Let me use a word wrap so as for me to have um, sorry. So word wrap so as for it to be um, formatted um, beautifully. So I have my okay. I don't need to link anything here. Let me just put. Gosh, I don't need to link anything here. Let me create. Uh, let me create an H one. Create an H one. Let me create an H one. Please don't try to copy and paste. I, I want you to be um, typing to us for for you to strengthen or to make your hand look stronger. Um, this page is about me. So this page is about me. Uh, let's say okay. Let me create a p tag. Let me create a p tag. Okay, P tag. Let me create a P tag. Say, ah, uh, okay. Hello, my name is Tim Tim. My name is Tim Tim. Uh, I'm a software engineer. Engineer, uh, with several years of experience, 
experience and blah 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 that's all let me just create something like that ah uh, okay that's all we don't need a script tag the script tag is to add your HTML I mean your JavaScript so we don't need it right now okay and that being that that is about that so let me try to link let me use an anchor tag and link okay let me create here let me create um, let me create about me mm, let me create p tag sorry tag okay let me now say um f team team. so before the f team team, let me create an anchor tag say okay let me create an anchor tag tag href href is going to reference what what am i going to be referencing i'm going to be referencing what about page about what page so about let's call me that's what html so what are we doing we're trying to um, link within the what within the trying to link within uh, make an internal referencing you understand sorry so we're going to, we are trying to make an internal referencing you understand you will see that um this is i'm, I'm using a relative uh, uh referencing here you understand why why is it relative let me reiterate again it is relative because it does not have um, backslash like this after i mean sorry forward slash after um after the um, after the uh, at the end of the href um, value there's nothing like this why is that it is not linking something outside our domain it is not linking uh, the resources outside our web page it is linking within what our web page so you don't need to put what um, forward slash at the end of the uh, anchor tag or referencing but if it's in a situation whereby look at the case of this YouTube you know YouTube is not of course in our um, web page or in our HTML the body of our HTML it's somewhere residing in our um, in what we are doing in our website so we are trying we are trying to get it um, from we are trying to embed it or link it from what um, from where uh, YouTube is from external it is not internal so it is external so by because of that we are going to put what fourth slash after the what the value of the href you understand which is this which is this here this after dot after com after dot com so you have four slash and by having four slash it is now called what absolute referencing but by not having four slash it is called what relative referencing let's see how this is working in uh, practical let me open a dev server so let's let's go let me show this again go live yes so let me click it hello uh, this this page is about me hello my name is timson i'm a software engineer with several years of experience now it's linked me to what my about page look at this url there you know this one one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one is what your port number uh, of course i can't i can't see what you have in yours um i can only see mine and you can't see mine from your end you can only see it because you're watching the or you're you're we are you're attending the lecture and of course this is the port number 5500 this is your local host i mean your port number this is the local host here yeah? one two seven point zero point zero point one um this is of course the um port number and this is what the um the, the url where we are being routed to which is what the about me dot html that is that 
so we are doing internal linking uh, internal referencing um, to differentiate relative referencing to what absolute referencing so in our next class we, i'm going to be teaching us um, we're going to be discussing sets another semantic element that i omitted which is um, section i'm going to be using it in practical quickly uh i'm going to be using practicalizing it quickly and i'm going to move to another we are still going to be dealing with um referencing and linking you know uh, we it's it's we still have one other lesson after now for linking so that we just cover um, everything that has to do with how to hard link to our web page and of course we move to the next level so I, like i said this week we're gonna be um, covering so much that by next week we're gonna be starting our first project in um, using html we're gonna be making it uh we, we are going to be making it to look very very uh, professional i beat but of course it's strictly html that we're going to be using no css at all we won't use css but strictly html and of course to make a bit of sense um thank you for your time thank you for uh watching this lecture or for, or for, for attending this lecture i appreciate you guys and if there's anything you are still finding confusing let me know in the comment section or come to me in discord or in telegram or whatsapp thank you very much for your time and god bless